السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. Good afternoon, everybody. In the first presentation, we talk about Kerr Shikawa and we talk about his history. Today, we present the Shikawa diagram, or we can say the fishbone diagram. Definition. One of the seven tools of equality, it shows the relationship of all factors or cases that lead the given state chain effect. It, it identifies the major cases uh, and breaks them down into subcases and uh, further sub uh, division, if any. It's usually preceded the, the cases and effects analyzed, also called fishbound diagram, because it's a uh, resemblance to a fish uh, skeleton. Now, here we are talking about the fishbound diagram. إنه إنه شكلها يشابه شكل هيكل عظمي للسمكة. It's it's about Shikawa diagram over is the doctor Kara Shikawa. He was born in Tokyo at 1950 and died at 1989. How to use the tool? The first step: identify the problem. The second one: work out the major factors involved. The third one, identify the possible uh, cases for analyzing the diagram. I will talk about the first step and second step, and my friend Sudhi will continue the presentation. First, write down the, the exact problem you face, where uh, appropriate identify who is involved, what the problem is, and uh, when and when and uh, where is uh, a cause. Then write the problem in the box of the left hand side of the large sheet of paper and draw the, the, the course to prepare uh, horizontally from the books. This arrangement looking like the, the hand, the, the head and span of a, a fish giving you space to develop ideas. The second one work, uh, work out the major factors uh, involved. Next, identify the factors that may be part of the problem. This may be the systems, uh, equipment, uh, materials, external forces, people involved with the problem, and so on. Try to draw out as many uh, these as possible. As starting point, you can use models such, uh, such as the McKinney's Seminus uh, Firmware, which offers uh, use uh, strategy, st structure, a system, uh, shared values, uh, scale, style, um, and the uh, stuff as factor that you can consider. Now we will define how uh, we can use the Ishikawa diagram. This is the fishbound diagram, Ishikawa diagram. طبعا هنا لو نشوف الرسم هنا عندنا طبعا شكل نفس شكل هيك العظمي للسمك. طبعا هنجي نعرف كيف طريقة اللي هو نكتب المشكلة على هذا الرسم. طبعا هنا عندك نحط المشكلة الرئيسية. طبعا هذا اللي هو يمثل رأس السمكة. تمام؟ الكاتيجوري هنا المشاكل اللي هو ايش؟ الأسباب لهذه المشكلة. بعد كذا عندنا في لما نحط المشاكل الأسباب المشاكل الرئيسية في عندنا أسباب فرعية. راح نحط الأسباب الفرعية في هنا طبعا نحط خطوط هنا وهنا ونكتب المشاكل الفرعية. طبعا مشاكل الاسباب حقت تتفرع من طبعا لاكثر من فرق. Now I will keep my friend so it's daily to continue the presentation. Thanks for your listening. Okay, السلام عليكم. Thank you for uh, my friend Mufid. Okay, step three. Identify possible causes. Now for each of the factor you consider it in step two. Brainstorming possible causes of the problem that may be related to the factor. Show these possible causes as a shorter line coming of the bonus of the diagram, where a cause is a larger complex that it, uh, that it may be best to break it down into sub-causes. Show this as a line coming of each cause line. Step four, analyze your diagram. By this stage, you should have a diagram showing all of the possible causes of the problem that you can think, think of. Depending on the complexity and, uh, and importance of the problem, you can now inv investigate 
the most likely causes further. They may involve setting up invest, investigation, carrying out ser a service, and so on. This will be the design to test which of these possible causes is actually contributing to the problem. طبعاً هذا هو عند بس زي ما شرح زميلي مفيد إنه أول شيء طبعاً نوجد المشكلة بعد ما نوجد المشكلة نوجد عناصر اللي كتب كاتيجوريز نوجد عناصر المشكلة بعد بعد ذلك نحط إيش الأسباب الثانوية للمشكلة بعد ما تتجمع عندنا المشاكل كلها وتترتب بعد كده خلاص حيكون أنا عندي سهل إن فاحل المشكلة خطوة بخطوة step by step this is the key points. Professor Karo Ishikawa created cause and effect analysis in 1916. The technique, the technique uses a diagram-based approach of thinking through all of the possible causes of the problem. This helps you carry out or through analysis of the situation. There are, uh, there are four steps to using causes and effect analysis. Identify, uh, first one, identify the problem. Work out the major factors. Identify possible causes and analyze your diagram. Try, uh, trying, using, trying using cause and effect analysis, you will find that they are particularly useful when you are trying to solve a, compl uh, a complicated problem. Thank you for listening. This is the, the reference for the presentation. And uh, thank you. Any question? Thank you for listening.